morning and happy Sabbath boys and girls and welcome back to our online children's Sabbath school. As always, I am happy and thrilled that you guys have decided again to spend time with us on the Sabbath morning. You know, even though we're far away and we're still in lockdown after so long, there's so much that we can give God thanks for. Let's think about it, boys and girls. We have, or we had food. We've been safe. We have a home to sleep. Well, home. We have bed to sleep in, clothes, friends, family members, and life this morning. So we must give God praise and thanks. And we're going to do that when we sing and read the Bible and say texts and hear different stories. We're going to have the opportunity to do that. This week, we're going to start about a two to three week uh, session or series on the family. You know, each and every one of us are part of some family and we're ultimately a part of God's family. And so we're gonna talk about the family this morning. I don't know who is in your family. Maybe you have a brother, a sister, a mommy, a daddy, or maybe just a mommy, or maybe just a daddy, grandparents. Let's be thankful for our families nonetheless, all right? So let's begin this morning our program with a word of prayer. Together. Please bless our hearts, O oh Lord. Please come in and stay. And I pray that everything that is said and done will glorify your name. In Jesus' name, amen. It's now time for our song service and yes, Auntie Angel will be joining you this morning for song service. We're going to start first with sing, 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 sing. Let's go. Sing, 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 somebody's here and I know it is Jesus. Somebody's here and I know it's a Lord. Sing, 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 somebody's here and I know it is Jesus. Somebody's here and I know it's a Lord. The Lord is mine. The Lord is mine. And I can feel him in my body and I can feel him in my soul. The Lord is mine. The Lord is mine. I can feel him all over me. So tell me what you think about Jesus. He's all right. What you think about Jesus. He's dynamite. Don't try to tell me my Lord is dead. He woke me up this morning. And don't try to tell me he's not alive. I spoke to him today. He opened up my blinded eyes and set my spirit free. And all I want to sing about is the man from Galilee. I've got a joy, 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 joy tongue in my heart. Dung in my heart. Where? Dung in my heart. I've got a joy, 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 joy tongue in my heart. Dung in my heart to stay. And I'm so happy, so very happy. For I have the love of Jesus in my H-E-A-R-T And I'm so happy, so very happy For I have the love of Jesus in my heart I know the devil doesn't like it But it's dung in my heart Where? Dung in my heart Where? Dung in my heart I know the devil doesn't like it But it's dung in my heart Dung in my heart to stay And I'm so happy So very happy For I have the love of Jesus in my H-E-A-R-T And I'm so happy so very happy for i have the love of jesus in my heart 
Next, we're going to sing, We Shall Have a Grand Time Up in Heaven. Do you know that song, boys and girls? Well, soon and very soon when Jesus comes and we get to go home with him, we will have a wonderful time up in heaven and we'll be with our huge family of God. All right. We shall have a grand time up in heaven. We shall have a grand time up in heaven. Have a grand time. Walking with the angels, singing hallelujah. Oh, we shall have a grand time up in heaven, have a grand time. What can wash away my sins? Nothing but the blood of Jesus. What can make me whole within? Nothing but the blood of Jesus. Oh, precious is that flow that makes me white as snow. No other fount I know. Nothing but the blood of Jesus. We're going to end this week's song service with a song that I think a lot of you know. He's got the whole world in his hands. In spite of all the bad things happening to us, especially at home here in Trinidad, we know that God is in control. So join me as we sing, he's got the whole world in his hands. He's got the whole world in his hands. He's got the whole world. In his hands, he's got the whole world. In his hands, he's got the whole world in his hands. He's got the mummies and the daddies. In his hands, he's got the mummies and the daddies. In his hands, he's got the mummies and the daddies. In his hands, he's got the whole world in his hands. 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 He's got you and me, brother. In his hands, he's got you and me, sister. In his hands, he's got you and me, brother. In his hands, he's got the whole world in his hands. He's got the whole world. In his hands, he's got the whole wide world. In his hands, he's got the whole world. In his hands, he's got the whole world in his hands. Thank you very much, boys and girls. Happy Sabbath and welcome to Sabbath School. Bye.
Hi, my name is Shide Loveless and I have a pet rabbit. Her name is Cotton and she is different from other rabbits. She is a pollen lock and she's not like other normal rabbits. So a little bit about Cotton. While the camera shows Cotton, I will just talk. Um, Cotton is very scared well most right now she's very scared most rabbits aren't accustomed to being hauled like this mostly by the predators because rabbits are prey animals and they have a tendency to fear a lot so right now she's shaking she's very scared even though i'm her owner and she knows that the way they show love is just they would mostly just want you to be around them and not hold them because they are afraid of being held. Um, we we feed her um, grass. We feed her grass, which is hay, dried grass, hay, and we feed her cabbage, lettuce vegetables on a whole and most fruits we give her she loves them very much and she also eats rabbit food which is found in normal pet stores so that's a bit about her as you can see she's black and white and she has long ears not like many other rabbits but yes she is a Holland Love Rabbit and that's all I have to say. God created animals to be loved by people and not mistreated. So I really love animals and the reason I chose to get a rabbit because a lot of people don't choose that type of animal as a pet in Trinidad and Tobago and I thought it was just a fun idea to get a rabbit and let me tell you rabbits are not cheap to take care of so make sure you have the responsibility to treat the rabbit at your best and remember they are all God's creatures so yes sometimes they might give you a little a little what's the word they might just be a little miserable sometimes but you just have to be patient because patient because they are they have hearts too and they feel things so thank you and that's all
Good day, boys and girls, and happy Sabbath. Today, I'm going to tell you a story about a boy named Joseph. Now, Joseph was a young boy who had plenty siblings. You know the siblings? Your brothers and your sisters. And yes, Joseph had plenty brothers. In fact, he had 11 brothers. 10 were older than him and one was younger than him. Now, Joseph, according to the Bible, was loved the most by his father. His father loved Joseph the most. He was a favorite boy. And because of that, he gave him a coat of many colors. Now, that doesn't sound too fancy, but we have to understand that in those days, clothes were usually brown or white or a darker color because they were, it was very expensive to get like these nice red colors and nice bright blue colors and green colors. It was expensive to get those colors into the clothing. Now, Joseph had a fancy coat and I could imagine that he used to run about and flaunt this coat and, and so everyone knew how much his father loved him. Now, one day, his brothers were out in the field with the sheep and his father sent Joseph down to his brothers to give them food. And he went down and he saw them by the field and when they saw him coming, they get angry. They say, look him coming again. Look Joseph coming and show off on us. Let me kill him. I could imagine Judah. Judah always ready for a fight. Say, we're going to kill him. We're going to kill him. And then God say, nah, only we can't kill him. And Levi say, if we kill him, daddy will kill us. So we can't kill him. So they decide, they come up together and they say, what are we going to do with this boy? Because we fed up of him. We fed up of him showing off on us. Now Joseph loved his brothers very much. So he didn't even think that they were thinking bad thoughts about him. So he came to them, and when he came to them, they held him, and they threw him into a pit. Yes, they threw their own little brother into a deep well. Now, some people were passing by, going to a distant land, and they said, you know what we could do? We could sell him, and then go and tell our father that, that he died. We could go and tell our father that some wild animal attacked him. So that's what they did. They pulled him out of the pit and they bound him up and they sold their own little brother into slavery. Now, I know some of you may be thinking, yes, I should really sell one of my siblings into slavery and be rid of them. But that is not what God wants us to do. Listen, Joseph understood how much God had loved him and that is why he loved his brothers so much. Years passed and Joseph was a slave and then he moved up because of his love for God and how he used to serve God. He moved up to be a supervising slave, have mercy. And then from that, because the enemy always trying to attack him, he ended up in jail. Now that's a different story by itself. So Joseph is now in jail and then through some miracles of God, he is ended up into the, the prime minister position of the land of Egypt. Now, there was a big famine coming. You know what a famine is? A famine is when there is no rain, so there is no food. So, God told Joseph, who is now the prime minister, who is now the Keith Rowley of Egypt, God told him how to get through this famine. So, they were going to stock up. A whole lot of food so that they were going to be able to have enough provisions for the years of famine. Now, all the people around had to come to Egypt to get their food because they had no food either. And guess who came to the palace one day to buy the grain? Yes, it was his brothers. Now, when Joseph saw them, he recognized them immediately. But they didn't see him. Now, remember... He was the prime minister. He was the governor. So he had to keep pretending. But his heart broke. He had to turn his back and cry to himself. Because he had already forgiven them for all the bad things that they would have done to him. Now boys and girls, I am telling you. There sometimes our brothers and our sisters or even mommy and daddy will do things that we don't like. And do things that make us sad and make us angry. But God wants us to forgive them. He wants us to love 
our family just as much as he loves us. Now Joseph, after some time and a lot of back and forth, he was able to bring his entire family, all the Israelites, down into Egypt. This just shows that once you have love in your heart, God is able to do a lot of good things through you. With God, nothing is impossible. Unquan thirty seven. For with God, nothing shall be impossible. Luke one verse thirty seven. Luke one thirty seven. For with God, nothing shall be impossible. Luke chapter one. Verse 37 For with God, nothing shall be impossible. This week, boys and girls, our Bible challenge comes first John chapter 4, verse 11. So, you know, we're talking about families this week and next week. And you know, one thing that's really important for families is love. Love, L-O-V-E, love. And so we're going to learn our Bible challenge from 1 John 4, verse 11, and it says, Beloved, if God so love us, we ought also to love one another. All right? So I look forward to all your videos next week. Okay, boys and girls, so we've come to the end of this week's program. Thank you so very much for joining us. I hope that you had fun. I hope that you learned a lot and that you were blessed. So as we part, I pray that God will continue to bless you and your family. I pray that you guys would have love for each other and for him and that you'll be happy. All right. So go with God. Enjoy the rest of your Sabbath. And don't forget to challenge yourselves with this week's Bible challenge. All right? Let's pray to close. Close your eyes and bow your heads, boys and girls. Heavenly Father, we're so thankful for the time that we've spent with each other and with you. We've learned a lot. And I want to thank you for that, oh Lord. Bless every boy and girl that is here this morning. Bless their families as well. Keep them safe. Keep them healthy and keep them faithful to you. So Lord, be with us through the rest of the Sabbath and thank you for all that you have done and will continue to do for us. In Jesus' name, amen. Have a great week, everyone. Bye.